Hey, good morning or afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Mark here, and we're about to get started on this week's webinar, which is going to cover off our new proof of delivery application for Business Central that runs within the Warehouse Insight and soon the WMS Express platform. Now, let's talk a little bit about what proof of delivery does. So the idea behind it is it's meant for delivery drivers, so your own trucks or courier drivers, whatever, uh, to you know, record the fact that they've actually delivered the product to the intended recipient. And they do that by, you know, scanning the barcodes, optionally scanning the barcodes of the products they deliver, just to verify that they've actually grabbed the right item out of the, the back of the truck, uh, taking uh, photos of the items they delivered. So pretty typical, right? I drop something off at a door and I take a photo of, of it at the door or capturing signatures from the, the people I'm dropping off to so we can get them to sign the screen so we've got that signature captured and everything else and all of this is real time with business central so you know you do need a, a data connection uh, you know phone or a tablet or a dedicated scanner whatever you want that communicates with business central so we've got all that information in real time and we're using the posted shipments within business central but it's an open platform so if you don't want to use posted shipments maybe you want to use open sales orders or warehouse shipments or something like that you could update the, the system to use those instead. We use posted shipments to you know, track what needs to be delivered. And uh, finally, we're going to show you a little bit about the integration with, with Android itself, because Warehouse Insight does have a lot of capability for you know, integrating with other applications and, and external systems that, that live on the Android ecosystem. Now, this application is supported on Android and technically Windows as well but really it's, it's an Android-based solution. So the, the devices you want to run are going to be uh, Android. All right, now a little bit about how this application is built. I've mentioned a couple of times, it's built on the Warehouse Insight platform. So what that means is the application itself is built in Business Central and runs within the Warehouse Insight application on the handheld device. And I say we've built it as a showcase app. And what that means is it's a fully featured application you can plug in and use today and it'll probably work for a vast majority of the people that need that type of proof of delivery. But the key part of this is it provides you all the source and everything you need. If you want to modify that or sell it or make it do something completely different, you have access to all of that and you can do it. And it's a great example application. If you want to build your own application that has nothing to do with proof of delivery, this code, these examples, all of these techniques in here, are going to give you the knowledge you need to build your own applications as well. So it just goes in along with the you know dozen or so additional development examples we have available for a more full featured application. All right, so the way this one is built, it's built as a warehouse inside application and there is an extension within Business Central as well that runs to do some of the, the Business Central business logic. And um, all of that again, I'll, I'll point you off to where that is. That's all available online today. All right, but before we get into that, let's actually go in and see what the application looks like. So I'm going to start here, well, not there, I'm going to start here with uh, Business Central. And we're going to go in, and the first thing I'm going to do is just really briefly look at the setup. So in the extension, there's a little setup page that lets you do a couple of things. One is we integrate with Google Maps, um, then you need to just get your, your API key. So you can go to the Google uh, site, get your API key, plug it in, and then you can utilize maps within uh, Business Central. And then down here is how we do the filtering for the driver on the handheld device. So when they come in and um, you know want to look at all their, uh, their shipments that they need to deal with and that sort of thing, their deliveries, you can filter it down to specific criteria. So the shipment method, maybe you've got a, a shipment method for deliver or something like that. And then over here, you can decide if you want to filter based on you know, the shipping agent or the shipping agent service. So the idea here is, you know, I'll say, I'm gonna have a bunch of shipping agents called truck one, truck two, truck three, that sort of thing. And then I can assign, you know, truck one to this particular shipment, truck two to a different shipment using the shipping agent. The other option is a shipping agent service where I could have a shipping agent called delivery or own logistics as the, the sample uh, BC data has, and then the shipping agent service could be a list of my drivers, and then I can assign it to a specific driver if I want. In my case, I'm going to do it based on the shipping agent, and then I'm going to say I can either do it by the user ID, so I can have a specific user uh, that I assign it to as a shipping agent. That would probably be more prevalent if you're using the uh, 
the shipping agent service or the device configuration code. So if I have a device that's sort of tied to truck one and another one uh, assigned to truck two, that sort of thing, that's what it's going to use. And that's exactly what I have. I have a device that's set up called truck one and uh, the device config code is, is called truck one and we're going to filter based on the shipping agent. So that's it. There, there's not much to set up there. Now, once I've done that, uh, the way you actually use the system, again, is we're going off the posted sales shipments. And you saw a little uh, hint at that when, when I started this. So what we've got is we've got a list of all the posted sales shipments and the delivery status, whether it's completed or uh, pending or, or whatever, and who they're actually assigned to, so which carrier they're assigned to. So there's an example here. You know, this guy's DHL, but it's it's kind of in my, my city here, and we can, we can see the little map here. And this is where you need that, that API key because we've embedded that Google map showing the address here. And even more interestingly, I can go in here and I can look at the vehicle tracker and it's going to show me the last location of that device that I was using to do this, this delivery. Okay, so I'll show you a little bit more about that in a sec. But I'll come in here and let's say I don't want to do this on DHL. I want to assign that to truck one. Well, the standard business central update document gives you the ability to go in and choose a carrier uh, a shipping agent to use, and I'll just assign that to truck one, or I can go in and say, you know what, I want to put, you know, whatever, we'll just do these three. I want to put these three guys uh, to truck one. So there's a little extension there that lets me go and set that that shipping agent to uh, uh, to truck one, and basically it's just going to set that and we're good. So this is sort of our, our dispatch, right? So we've got a dispatcher in there. He's going to go in, figure out who we're assigning this this different delivery to, or it could have been assigned when we created the sales order or whatever. So, you know, this is a proof of delivery app. We're not doing route planning or anything like that. There's no facility for that, but this gives you the ability to maybe extend this type of capability to do full-fledged route planning or, or whatever you want, because we've got the, the sort of underlying capabilities uh, built in. Now, if I open up one of these, these uh, shipments here, I'll just show you a couple other little things. So again, the map, you know, you can come in and see, you know, where where the driver was when uh, when he signed it off. Those types of things gives us a delivery status and you know how we're delivering on each individual item and those sorts of things down there. And then the pictures that we may have taken from the device and the signature that the, the person left, which is uh, probably not the best signature. But you can come in and you can see all this detail uh, right from this this posted shipment. Okay, so that's really all there is to it in, in Business Central. Oh, one other thing here. I'll, I'll actually show you when we get into uh, using the actual application. But in addition to you know putting the picture and the signature and everything here right on the posted shipment itself, we also plug them into the attachments. So that allows you to have you know multiple photos. You can take 20 photos of the items, all that kind of stuff, and it logs them as attachments as well as storing them on the shipment header. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is, you know, it's nice to see that list of attachments. And number two, again, it's a showcase application. It, it gives you the code you need. If you want to do that yourself and you want to be able to take a picture or signature or something like that, stored in custom fields, those sorts of things, now you have all that code, all that examples of how you can make that work. All right. Anyway, that's what we got here in, um, in Business Central. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually show you what this looks like when we jump to the handheld device. So the first thing I'm gonna do, that's the screen from my handheld device. We'll just reconnect here. So that's a screen from the handheld device and let's actually see what that sucker looks like. So that's this guy right here. So that's the device that I'm using and you can see my, my thumb there tapping on, on the screen. And after you install the application, you've got this delivery uh, icon at the bottom that we can actually use to, to launch that application. And I've got a couple of boxes here that I'm going to be, you know, delivering, scanning later. And here's that same application on a tablet. So, you know, if you've got a tablet in the car, you can use that instead and uh, open that up. And the tablet, I mean, it's just a, a nicer interface, like a larger interface, and you can see more detail and, you know, larger maps. If I want to come in here and, sorry, I just got to move that closer and open up the map, those types of things. Uh, you can do all of that, and you've got a much larger screen to mess with. So that's uh, that's using it on a tablet. But I'm going to use this little guy here. And this little guy here is actually a scanner, right? So this is a Honeywell uh, CT30 device. Uh, and, you know, it's the size of a cell phone, but it's, it's actually a barcode scanner. And you can lock the sucker down and, and everything else. 
Um, you can get lots of devices like this that, you know, they don't have a physical keypad, or you can get, you know, guys that have, you know, little guys like this with a physical keypad uh, that might be better, uh, that have SIM cards and everything else. But what I'm going to do here uh, very easily is I'm just going to jump into my application. So there is that, that list of deliveries I need to make based on my device. So this device, again, is configured as truck one. It's, it's tied to that specific vehicle. And within Business Central, all of the ones where I've set the shipping agent to truck one, those are the things that show up here. And so this is very simple. This is a list of things I need to, to deliver. And there's a few things on here as well. So just like we had the fact box in uh, Business Central, you can also do fact boxes within um, Warehouse Insight. So if you're not aware of that, you're able to plug in any type of detail you want here within uh, within Warehouse Insight. So you know here I can tap on the different uh, uh, delivery things and see the map and all that kind of stuff. And we've got the integration with standard Android uh, capabilities as well. So if I want, instead of just seeing a map there as a, as a fact box, I can actually come in, hit show map, and that's just going to launch whatever the default map application is in the system and show me, you know, the, in this case, it's the Google Maps, show me a map to that, that particular location. Okay, so that's some of the integration that we have right in with the, the, uh, the OS. Now, to actually do a delivery, let's say I want to go ahead and, uh, you know, deliver to that particular uh, location. I can just double tap that or use the menu, choose it, come in, and it's just going to load that, that shipment up for me. And now I can start scanning items or... I can come in here and use one of the menus to, to do this. So I can just say deliver all, so I don't have to scan anything. And that'll just flag those items as delivered. So within Business Central, this delivered quantity is stored within the, the post of shipment. So I can see I've shipped this, it's on the truck, it's, it's left my, my facility, and then I can scan to indicate that I delivered it, and that status will show up on that post of shipment. So to do it, it's real simple. I grab this guy, scan the barcode, it asks me how many of those you're delivering. I'll just say both, those two. And it's going to update that. Now it's updated Business Central with that information. Then I'll grab my other box here and scan that guy. All right. And same thing. I'll just say delivered one and we're good to go. Now, if I had an issue with that, that delivery, I can simply come in. I can add comments to it. I can say, you know what, um, you know, box uh, was uh, damaged and uh you know, leave a comment on, on that as well. So I can add all those those comments and everything too. So anything we need to do as a driver, uh, we can do. And one of the important things is the uh, ability to take that photo. So I'll come in here and I'll say, yes, we need to take a photo that those boxes were actually delivered appropriately. There's the boxes. And again, that's updated that, that photo in Business Central right then and there. So anybody looking in Business Central right now will see those photos. And then finally, I want to go in and, and, you know, get the person's signature. And you'll notice these have hotkeys. I mean, that isn't really applicable if I don't have a, a physical keypad on my device. But if I did, you know, I just hit F5 or the shortcut key instead of having to use the, the menu all the time. But now I say, okay, I need somebody's signature on this. So I hand it over to the person and they, you know, sign their name or draw a, a picture or whatever they need to do. And then I can type their name in uh, into that as, as well. And uh, we're good to go. So that's basically it. That is how we do proof of delivery. Well, actually, I lie. So one more step, because this is still showing as, as pending, right? We've, we've done all the work. The last step we've got here is to um, finish the delivery. So we say, yes, we've, we've, com we've completed the, the delivery, and we want to flag it as, as complete, and it'll fall off our, our delivery list, and we're good to go. So that's basically it. Delivery marked is complete, and now that delivery is off our list. So it's really that, that simple, right? So all of that capability that you see there, uh, as I mentioned, is, uh, you know, all completely open to whatever you want to do with it. If you don't want to force people to take photos and take signatures and all that kind of stuff, you don't have to, right? You can change any of this. You have access to all of these things. Now, one other thing that I'll mention is um, we do track uh, the location where the driver was when he did all that stuff, when he took the photos, got the signature, did all the scanning, we, we track all that. So as soon as we open up you know, this, this document, we track that location. 
But we can also, just as a, an example thing here, if I turn on the start stop tracking, we end up, it says tracking enabled in the last GPS location set, we've got real time device tracking right into Business Central doing that. So now as this person is driving around town, we can actually see where they are right from within Business Central because Warehouse Insight is now sending that detail to, uh, to us. And that tracking can work really anywhere, right? If you're out in a yard or something like that, where you've got uh, GPS uh, position capability, we can send all of that information back into Business Central, right? So the way I've got it set up is I think, you know, just periodically every minute or so, it's updating the location right within Business Central of this specific device. Well, let's, so that, that's really all there is on the device, right? So I'm, I'm gonna go in there. Oh, I, I lied, that's not all there is on the device. Let's say I open this guy up here, this, uh, this first guy, and I'm like, well, I kind of know where that is, right? I kind of know where that address is, but I need help getting there. So just a little more integration within, um, you know, the, the platform where I can say, give me the route to the destination. And that's going to, again, launch the default application. In this case, it's, it's Google uh, Maps. And it's actually going to give me my driving directions to that, uh, to that spot. Once I get there, you know, I'll just exit the, uh, uh, the maps and uh, it'll take me back in and I can actually do my delivery with a little bit of lag on my screen share here, but you can see on the handheld device that we're back in, the, um, uh, in the, the actual proof of delivery app. My screen share here is just, uh, looks like it's hung up a little, but that's okay because we're done with that. Let's go back into uh, Business Central here and look at what happened. So here's, here's the delivery that I, I did. It's marked as complete. If we open that sucker up, we can see what, what actually happened. So we've we flagged these guys as completed. So we've actually fully delivered all of that product. Um, we've got our attachments here. So if I go in and, and look at the uh, the attachments that, that we've got, sorry, click on the right thing here. Those are our attachments, but they're also logged on the shipment headers. So I can go in and I can see, you know, everything that I captured. And again, that's where I delivered it, but we can see the vehicle tracker. We can see exactly where that vehicle was when we did it, or if I've got that tracking turned on, as the person is driving, we'll see this, this guy uh, update okay? and on the map. Uh, and of course, it's marked as complete. So that's, that's really all there is to uh, you know, using the proof of delivery application. Because what I want to show you now is a little bit on how we actually get that thing installed. So let's just go back in here. All right, so to get this thing working, what you actually do is you can go to our knowledge base, and I'm going to show you that in a sec. And uh, at this link, and it'll be, uh, I'll show you again at the end. If you go to our knowledge base and search for proof of delivery, you'll find it. And what that's going to do is it's got a download there for um, the extension that you have to upload into Business Central. So the AL extension, the .app file that you load into Business Central, and a rapid start file you import into Business Central. Those are the two steps that you, you need to perform and you've got that app loaded. The next time you start uh, Warehouse Insight, you will see the proof of delivery app in your environment. And that uh, knowledge base also has a uh, you know, user guide and, and instructions on how to configure it and, and everything else. So that's really all there is to getting it set up. So <clears throat> I'm gonna just walk you through a little bit of that real quick here and some of the application design as well for those of you who are interested in some of the more sort of technical things. So the first thing is I'm just gonna go into the knowledge base here. So this is the, the knowledge base. So again, if you go to kb.dmsiworks, go to our knowledge base, there's tons of stuff here. This is the thing for the proof of delivery. So it's got uh, you know all the details on, on what's required and the download links to actually get uh, the application and the rapid start and, and everything else you need to get the thing set up along with all the details on, on how this sucker works. Okay, so that's the, the proof of delivery thing. Now, while I'm here though, I'll mention a couple of other things. There's a ton of information. There's a whole bunch of other examples within the knowledge base. If, if you need to customize the Warehouse Insight solution to do things like maybe you wanna change the quantity dialogue as an example, even in proof of delivery or any other application within the system, there's all sorts of examples here that show you how to do it. So the knowledge base is a very good um, repository of knowledge, of information that you can use to extend a solution. And another uh, one in here that I'll just briefly mention, the if you come in on the app designer, which I'll show you in a moment, 
if you're looking at the code uh, that we have, the in air quotes, the code that we have for the proof of delivery app, and you want to figure out what something is doing, you can come in here and very quickly find that information. So for example, one of the, the things that we do is get that, that location of the, the driver. And you, you might look into the application and see, oh, that's how it, do, it does it. What are these options? And I can come in here and uh, I'll just, uh, oops, it's not it selected. And you know, there's the, the way we get the, the geolocation. And if I hit that, it'll come in and tell me exactly how I actually go in and use that, that block, we call it, to get the location of the driver and, uh, and send it back. All right, so that's basically it. Now, uh, the, the last thing I'll mention while I'm here, when you come in here and you, you go to one of these links for, for the install, oh, there's a little thing there, but if I go to one of the links for the install, what it's gonna do is gonna take you to our uh, external repository. So this repository here has examples for a lot of the different products. So these are more developer oriented. You can come in here and see all sorts of examples and, and download this code and reuse it for whatever you want. So, um, you know, even in Dynamic Ship, we've got things like combined warehouse shipments and all kinds of stuff. So a lot of examples here on how to, ex how to extend our products. And in here is the full code and everything you need for the proof of delivery app. So you can take this and do whatever the heck you want with it, including those control add-ins. So showing the, the location of the driver and, uh, and all of those sorts of things um within um within business central all of that if you need that for something completely different great here it is grab it use it and you're you're good to go okay now i'm just going to jump back in here into business central real quick and just show you the design of that application because again this is really i mean the proof of delivery app is is very good as it is you could just plug it in and, and use it to do your, your proof of delivery but if you want to use it as a learning tool to figure out how to build these types of applications, or if you just want to modify some of the behavior on that proof of delivery, what you need to understand is sort of how it's built. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Warehouse Inside Applications here. And here's our proof of delivery uh, application, so this delivery document. This is actually going to be the posted shipment document. And in here you can see, you know, we've got some, you know, general information about it. But here's all the menus that I have available. So if I don't want to enable the start stop tracking capability, I can turn that off or I can add my own menus or whatever I like in here. And then down below it, we've got all the columns. So these are all the fields that actually show up when we load up that application, right? So we can make any of these fields visible. Now in mine, I only have a few that I actually made uh, visible in here. A lot of these are, are hidden, like I don't hide or I don't show some of these fields. But on the handheld, I could, as a user, make these visible, or I can make them visible right here from within Business Central. Anyway, that's the basics. But the key thing here is if I go into design, we'll see the actual application. This is the application that runs on the handheld device. This is the logic for what happens on the handheld device. So we've got these things called events that occur. So this one says, hey, when the form opens, I'm just going to set the title bar and the, the status bar, and I'm going to save the driver's location by running this, uh, you know, this function basically, and it's gonna save that function. And what you see here on all of these different blocks, right? So here where we're asking for the signature, we're gonna ask, you know, right here, this thing says, hey, get, get the signature from the person. And then we're gonna tell Business Central, hey, save the signature. And this here, when we scroll down, these are all the functions I can call within Business Central. So all of this, is part of that AL extension that we've got for proof of delivery. But you're able to come in here and create your own functions, your own events within Business Central that you can call from the handheld device. So this one on signature capture, we have our own custom function in there because we save it into the posted shipment header. Um, if you didn't want to do that, you just wanted it as an attachment, you wouldn't actually need any of this. You could just call an existing event to add that attachment into Business Central. But this gives you the ability to use the business central logic to extend what happens on the handheld device. So you can see everywhere in here, we're coming in and we're calling you know, business central uh, functions to do various things. Okay, so that is the app. There's actually very little to it. If I just scroll down, that is the entirety of the application that runs on the handheld device. There is very little to it. Once you're used to this stuff, it's very easy to actually make this, um, make this work uh, and, and they could do whatever you want. 
right? If I wanted to do something completely different when somebody, uh, you know, sign or scans um, uh, scans uh, an item or something like that, right? I can come in and I can change that um, that behavior completely. I can make it do whatever I like. So here's where an item is scanned. I can do whatever I want. I can pop up a picture of the item. I can not prompt for quantity and just automatically set the, the quantity, whatever you want to do. So this is how we, we do the applications within it. Now, the other part of that, of course, is you know, the Business Central code. So I'll just jump into that real quick. I mean, if you're not a developer, that, that's okay. Uh, you don't really need to worry about this too much. But what I'll do is uh, just go through. These are all the functions that we're calling from the handheld device, right? So we just got, you know, this little extension here. And this is all it does. Every one of these is, is called from the handheld device. And some of these aren't actually even necessary, right? So some of these are just writing data into Business Central. We've created a function here in, in Business Central to do it, but I could actually do that from the handheld device without adding any code whatsoever. So just really briefly, let's actually just come in here and I'll show you one of these things and, and how it works. So this one is getting that shipment list. What that means is when I open up the application the first time, it gives me a list of all the shipments that, that I have in my delivery list. This is how it's doing it. And this looks like it's a lot of effort, but it's not really. This first part is just simple business central uh, filtering. All it's doing is setting up uh, the filters based on what we've specified. So basically it's saying, you know, I want to filter to uh, to truck one in my case is, is what I had, right? So um, that's what it's doing there. And the actual, sending the information back to the, the handheld is this, these three lines of code. It's sending all the information I need back to the handheld device with all the fields I've defined and everything else, that's all there is to it. So developing in Warehouse Insight is actually very simple. And again, all of this code is available for you to dig through, figure out how it works and use it for whatever purpose uh, you want. All right, so I think I've uh, talked myself out of that. Uh, thanks, everybody, for attending. I uh, hope you got some value out of this, and uh, hopefully we'll be talking again soon. Thanks, everyone. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.